So I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I never really thought I would actually even reach 5K. 5K is a huge mark. That's halfway to 10,000 followers. I'm just so excited right now. I'm so enthused. I don't even know how to just keep it in. Like I, my mind is going crazy. I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. So the main reason for this video is to help you guys and basically give back to you for helping me so much reach 5,000 followers. So what I did is I actually went on Instagram and said, okay guys, who would like me to review your account and see what I can do to help? So that's exactly what I did. I put that on there for 24 hours and I got 50 plus people saying, please review my account. I want to be featured and along with help me succeed in Instagram. And I'm gonna say, I never actually really thought that I would get that many people. So thank you again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feature five different accounts that I will go through, say what I like, what I don't like, and hopefully something that can help you grow as an Instagram page. There's so many different pages, I'm happy to help. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so first profile we're gonna look at is PNW Princess with a three. Um, so she is located in Bellingham, it looks like. Uh, DM to short collab. First thing I would say is that she should move the location of Bellingham to actually the first thing that people see. Because when someone sees my profile, they see Mount Vernon. So that's the main thing, because if someone wants to collab with you, uh, that's what you want them to see, so they'll feel more comfortable basically messaging you and then going from there. Everything else I like, my public page with modeling and creative work, DM to short collab. That's perfect. Um, also, I do suggest using emojis in a profile that actually makes your profile more friendly and more interactive. I know it kind of sounds stupid, but there's a lot of younger generation people on here. And if you use emojis, you feel like you're easier to approach and talk to, which I've learned over the past year. Um, I definitely like the color grain. It's a very Pacific Northwest style. Very, I like it. These are actually really cool. I actually like these a lot. That's a really cool picture. Um, looks like she's trying to do sets of three, which is key for modeling because when you're a model, each photographer has a different type of style with color grading. I have my own moody port kind of like styles that I do. So it's kind of harder for models with my pictures because they're each gonna be different, but they're all gonna be the same in my profile. These I like right here, these are nice. Uh, this one I like actually a lot. The nice thing is that she's using the sets of three, so she's using one, two, three pictures in her profile. That really makes your page turn out as a really good theme. Uh, it's more approachable and better professional looking, so more people are gonna engage with your pictures and also follow you and keep updated with your profile. Overall, I like the profile a lot. I would just basically change the bio a little bit and add some emojis, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. So moving on to account number two. So my next profile is one of my friends that is located in the UK. So let's check him out. He is a photographer. He is 19, looks like freelance lifestyle photographer. That's good. As where he's from, UK booking and inquiries. Okay, and he does have a link. Um, he also does have his backup account on there, which is also good. Uh, so first thing again, I would say try and use emojis. Um, I know it sounds cheesy, but you'll get more engagement. Um, I would definitely change where he's from, put it in the very beginning, and then say his age, freelance photographer, everything else looks good. A profile I like, it's, it's nice because it's a drawing, so it's kind of different than everyone else's. Um, definitely highlights. I'm trying to use more highlights more and actually try and have a theme for that. Um, but what I really like about his profile is he's a photographer and he does a whole bunch of stuff. But the cool thing is what sets him apart is all of his colors. So all of his colors are the same thing. That's why he's gaining more followers, gaining more engagement. Um, he should definitely have more than 1700 for sure. Definitely three or four K. Um, but it's just fucking your name out there and really go on Instagram a bunch. But his pictures are really good. He has product pictures, he has portraits. He actually does a lot. But the thing is, he uses all the same colors basically for all of his photos. And that's what's really gonna set him apart from others. If you have more of the same colors, your theme is gonna look better. Theme is key on Instagram. I didn't learn that until two years ago. 
Now it's just posting random stuff with random pictures, random colors. And I wasn't getting a lot of engagement. So if you have the same kind of colors and the same theme, you're gonna get more engagement. Your profile is gonna look more professional and you're probably gonna have a higher chance of getting a follower from that. Uh, this is actually him. So what I'll do is in each of the profiles, I will link their at below. So you guys can go check them out. Overall, I like this profile. Uh, just change up the bio a little bit and link is always good. Okay. Okay, so the next profile is gonna be the real and the Brie, or Brie. Uh, she's a new photographer. I've worked with her a couple times in Bellingham and also Street Meet. So let's check out the profile. Okay, so first thing is my coffee game is strong. Casual model in Bellingham, Washington. Feel free to DM if you'd like to collab. That's good. She used a couple emojis. I'd maybe use at least four if possible. Um, so I would definitely change the location to the first thing you see. So people want, if they want to collab, they can message you. Oh, I know where you're at, which is nice. Um, pretty short and sweet. Really don't need much more than that. Um, casual mom Bellingham. I would say model trying to go a little bit more further into this style or area of modeling. Uh, looks like the profile is a little kind of just put together. Uh, first thing that catches my eye is this. This really doesn't fit the theme. Um, even though you are a model, as I said before, sets of three is key. Because uh, that, that, like, that just doesn't go, like, that really catches my eye. I'm like, that's a little weird. Um, I think she's trying to do sets of three here. Uh, she has a lot of different interesting work. Because um, I know some people, what they do is they do sets of three upwards. So it would be here, here, here. I think that's what maybe she's trying to do. I can only just tell because this is mine because of the style I use when I edit. That one's actually really cool. I like that a lot. I just feel like the face isn't as focused. They use grain for sure, which I use grain in my pictures. Um, other than that, I would say the main thing that she needs to focus on is sets of three. That's always big and modeling pages because it attracts more people to the page because it looks more professional overall. Um, so I just say stick to sets of three and just try and go for that. Okay, fourth profile. Okay, so the next one is Chrysalid. Uh, looks like for tar for slash vegan, all photographs are by me, DM me inquiries, collabs, model page, and then portfolio. Um, so first of all, I would say if you're trying to grow this page, I'd put location first. Location first is always key. I know I keep saying this, but that will basically attract people in your area so they're not so scared to basically ask you where you're located. I know it sounds kind of funny, but it's a big part of Instagram. Uh, I like the profile picture. It's very engaging. Looks like you're having a good time with your camera, which is awesome. Um, so model page. Looks like this is just your model page. Okay. I like this. That's all of her. Uh, how many is she? Is she just three? Okay. Um, so on this page, first of all, I'd say I would not try and use sets of three as much. I would try and space them out in three separate posts because with those three different posts, you can get more engagement than just people scrolling through because people only see the first two and they usually don't go to the third one. Um, so sets of three is key. I think this is the main profile. Um, so first off I see portraits, sets of two. Okay, I can go with that. And then a dog, another dog, a city. Uh, looks like kind of behind the scenes of the photos. Um, so first of all, I'm not sure what type of theme you're trying to go for. Are you trying to go for like a model theme? Are you trying to go for like a dog theme? So city theme, urban theme. Um, so with a profile, you kind of have to pick your niche. So you either have to focus mainly on portraits that you're taking or mainly just focus on city urban landscapes 
Um, Cause if basically you keep doing different stuff, um, you're not going to grow as much because you don't have a very good theme laid out. The hard part is that even though you want to post a bunch of different stuff on your Instagram, you have to pick a theme and you have to go with that because if you don't, you're really not going to grow. That's the annoying thing with Instagram. Um, so you basically have to pick, do you want to do portraits, urban, or landscape? Um, I like the sets of three, but yeah, with these, I would definitely do them separately instead of doing them both together because you have more area for people to basically give you more engagement on two separate posts instead of posting two pictures in one post. So yeah, that's what I would do. Uh, the main thing is I would pick a niche, go with that niche and basically follow people in that niche and go like people's pictures in that niche and that should help you grow a little bit more. So you might wanna clean up your profile a little bit and figure out what you want. Okay, fifth profile, here we go. Okay, so the last profile we'll be looking at is Desiree. Um, she just started Instagram. I did one photo shoot with her before. Um, so first of all, let's see, it's all a joke, WCC, cat mom, Snapchat. Um, so if you wanted to turn this page into a model page, you would basically clean this up. You would put your location, um, act actively seeking photographers for more shoots or trying to grow my model portfolio. Um, and then I probably will not put your Snapchat. Um, if you're trying to make this into your model page, that's just my preference. Uh, cause it's not as professional. Um, I do like the profile picture. It's, there's a lot of color in it, which is good. Uh, go through the pictures. I like that picture because it's trying to be a model. This one, I don't feel like it fits the profile yet. Um, that I like. Instead of doing basically three pictures in one, I would space them out in three different posts. Uh, these are these are the ones I took of her. Um, this one I liked a lot. That one. And that one. Um, so it looks like she just started out because right here, yeah, February 8th. Looks like it was a personal profile, then going to a model profile. Um, so the main thing on this profile, I would say, is the same thing before. So sets of three. Um, try and post three different pictures instead of a post with three different pictures in it. Even though Instagram added that feature, you're going to get more engagement from three separate posts than a post with three pictures, if that makes sense. Um, I would say try and use highlights more. I've been trying to get into that more. Um, so overall, the main thing is just change your profile and your bio a little bit and set to three and that should help get you more engagement and more followers overall. Um, so that's that. Awesome.